This is called Rants from the Man Cave. And most of the time that I come down here, I don't really rant, I just give you my opinion. Tonight I may rant a little bit, so please bear with me. Now there's a certain person from a four-letter network who's a Dallas Cowboys fan, and last week he said, look, the call that was made and then the flag was ultimately picked up, we all know that, didn't totally cost the Detroit Lions the game. The Lions simply should have made more plays. They had a 14-point lead and basically blew it. Now, we do know that Indomit and Sue was held. We do know that Des Bryant should have been penalized for running out onto the field without a helmet on. We know all of that, but it didn't happen. Might have seemed like a little bias towards the Cowboys. There was a lot of conspiracy theory talk, and that was all washed away by you. All washed away by you. By the way, two weeks ago, you insinuated this particular person that Aaron Rodgers was faking his calf injury in order to garner sympathy votes for the MVP. How the hell do you know if a guy was faking an injury or not, or whether he has heart or guts? Shut up! Shut up! First of all, you owe Aaron Rodgers an apology for even insinuating that after watching the guy hobble around out there the way he did on Sunday. That's the first thing. Then, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy with which you speak is unbelievable. To say, well, the Cowboys were robbed and the Packers were the benefactors of an official's call and the NFL spin. Shut up! Do you know your Cowboys didn't convert a third down in the second half of this ball game? Do you know the guy that you insinuated had the bad calf muscle said, oh, he's just faking it for MVP votes? Shut up! He went 15-20 for 226 yards and two touchdowns in the second half of that ball game. Zero sacks because his guys kept him clean. That meant they went out and played a better game than your guys. And he outplayed your boy! Shut up! You're a hypocrite! That's all you are. Awesome.